air was full of black, tar black smoke, and it was billowing. The flames were shooting out from the roofs, and as soon as that oxygen hit, the fire took off. Roaring flames waking up residents of a North Abilene apartment complex early Sunday morning, all scrambling to escape a three-alarm fire. Investigators say it was intentionally set. That is tonight's top story. Good evening. Thank you for choosing KTAB News. I'm Bob Bartlett. And I'm Joni McKinnon. Thank you for staying up with us with, for this special edition of KTAB News Weekend. And we do start with that massive fire. Tonight, we know that the fire has displaced 65 people. Take a look at your screen. The fire happening at the Briarwood Apartments on North 3rd Street about 630 Sunday morning. And as we just said, that fire displacing 65 residents and damaging 21 units. And firefighters were still there hours after the blaze started trying to stuff out the smoldering wreckage. So the massive fire's impacts will be long felt by dozens of people who are now left without a home. Tonight, KTAB's Mercedes Hernandez continues the complete coverage. Cynthia Way is just one of the numerous residents of the Briarwood Apartments that rushed to escape a life-threatening blaze Sunday morning. My son woke me up saying that the building across from us was on fire. I got up, looked out the front door, and had flames billowing out from under it. The fire started just before 6.30, filling the early Sunday sky with clouds of choking black smoke. Even in the daylight, the smoldering damage covered the North Abilene neighborhood in a haze. The memory of fear still lingering in the air. My friend. I, he lived on the east side, his daughters, and they were gone to a friend's house overnight, and I forgot, and I saw him wandering around. He was in shock, and I asked him, I said, where's the girls, and he said, I don't know. So for the first two hours, I thought the girls were up there. Lakenda Kelly says the fire started in her apartment. She was not there, but another family member was, as well as the suspected arsonist. Eventually, the fire would start. Kelly was planning on moving soon, but now she'll move with nothing. She still had stuff in our apartment, you know, beds and tables and clothes and stuff like that. So now when we do make our move, we are having to start completely over. Abilene Fire Chief Candy Flores says a possible domestic disturbance took place before the fire. Abilene police are investigating what they're now calling arson. So there are some reports that there might have been a disturbance here late Saturday night that transpired into the events that occurred early this morning. Um, like I said, PD is talking to the person of interest. The Red Cross was on site offering aid to fire victims. Robin Flores with the Big Country's chapter says hotel rooms have already been secured to give them a temporary place to stay. It's absolutely devastating and heartbreaking to see, um, but it's important that they know that they're not alone. It's in times of hardship when Abilene's caring heart shows most. Apartment residents camped out at the Laundry Love laundromat next door, invited in by its staff many hours earlier when the fire first started. The first ones that came in, they had a, they had a little baby and, and stuff. They were barefooted, no jacket stuff. They were just crying and stuff. And I mean, I just felt it was the right thing to do just to let them in. Adam Esparza was opening shop when he heard calls of distress. Soon after, he opened the laundromat's doors to those getting away from a fire and getting out of the cold. People that come in, and leave blankets and jackets and stuff. They don't ever come back for their laundry. We just went back there, started ripping open bags and started handing out blankets to, you know, to people just to help them out. Because like I said, it was freezing cold this morning. The next step for these fire victims is uncertain. But in the meantime, the struggle is being eased with a little help from caring neighbors. In Abilene, with coverage you can count on, Mercedes Hernandez, KTAB News. Thank you, Mercedes. The cost of the damage is estimated to be $500,000. No injuries were reported, though three pets were lost in that fire. Abilene Animal Shelter also offering helping hands to those fire victims. And this is 31-year-old Kevin Spurlock. He's accused of intentionally setting the fire. Tonight, he's in the Taylor County Jail on charges of arson and terroristic threat. His bond has not been set.